awesome. Good morning. It's about 10 past six in the morning and I'm on my way to the tube to uh, then head down to Devon. I'm doing a little tour of a mattress factory today, an organic mattress factory uh, called Natural Mat. Um, and I actually already have one of their toppers at home so I'm really intrigued to see like how they make their mattresses um, and they're doing a sort of breakfast in bed event which should be fun. So uh, see you there. So a few hours on the train later and I arrived at the Natural Mat headquarters. That's Willa, she's the office dog and keeps things in check and she's the first person who greeted me. Uh, so we had some panel chocolat and some natural organic yogurts and learned all about the brand. So all the sorts of natural fibers and materials they use like coir, seaweed, uh, natural latex, organic uh, wool. And if I could fit in that Moses basket, I would sleep in it, I love it. Combinations of natural fibers that don't have any glues or laminations between them at all. They're all just layered together, held within this inner cover, which John's putting on now. Just spin. <laughs> act natural, guys, act natural. <laughs> How many fingers have you got? <laughs> Ten. 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 All right, yeah. okay, good. We're in Coverack. So pretty. Hey guys, so we're just walking through the woods. Uh, this area is called Frenchman's Creek and Daphne du Maurier actually wrote a book which I haven't read but want to read um, based on this whole area. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try and film some of the picturesque parts for you. But in fact, it's actually all really picturesque. So I have to be selective. So yeah, we're just taking a little trail, life on the trail. Uh, I'm trying not to trip up whilst I do a walk and talk skills. It's a little bit like a sort of land that time forgot around here. There are no people. Um, and it's all really kind of wild, slightly uh, Jurassic Parky, but without the dinosaurs. Well, we hope. on a little cloudy now but that behind me is more of the creek except it's pretty muddy right now the tide when does the tide come in five hours, five hours. or it comes in really early at sort of 6 a.m ish uh, so we've sort of missed the main water of the creek but you get the idea it's freaking beautiful it smells so good just rained so we've got amazing smells going on you know how it just smells incredible after it rains um, oh look at that so we're gonna go down that little it's a real shipwreck we just walked into an Enid Blyton novel So we're nearly at Helford where we're going to stop and get a bite to eat at the pub, um, which does really nice food actually. 
the shipwright's arms. There it is. So quaint. I love that roof. on a tropical island. Oh, palm trees are so cool. You could totally sleep on that, I think. Apparently this is registered as well, so it's protected. Isn't that nice? Got a little organic ice cream whoop whoop, from the Helford shop. And the prettiest village of the year award goes to Helford. Now back in the woods. Mark's gone way ahead of me. He has a habit of walking off and waiting. And then I catch up and then off we go again. <laughs> so I'm constantly playing a game of catch up. And that's the view from the top. Hey, so I'm just hanging around in my hammock. That's right. I've got a hammock. I actually got it about five years ago. Um, I bought it from a friend who accidentally ordered two hammocks online um, and didn't realize until they both turned up and it was a, oh no, I've got two hammocks and I only need one situation. So I <laughs> randomly asked if I could buy her extra one off her, um, which I did and then didn't know where to put it because I had no space. I was living in the smallest place in the world in London. Kind of kept hold of it and hoped that one day I might actually get to use my hammock. And now, finally, my mother-in-law has got a lovely place where there's a perfect spot between two trees that is just exactly the right size for the hammock. Um, so it's worked out really well. So I've spent the last few days chilling out in my hammock. So cool. I'm just trying to convince um, everyone to get a fire pit set up <laughs> and then I can doze off in my hammock next to a fire pit. And that would be hashtag living the dream. So tonight we are off out to a little, little village short, yeah I think it's a village, called St Kevin um, to a place called the Greenhouse I think that's what it's called and it does uh, a lot of organic food and locally sourced kind of stuff um, and I've wanted to try it for a while actually so some friends uh, of ours who are locals have recommended it um, and I was particularly excited about the fact that it has organic food on the menu so um, we've booked ourselves in we're going to go and check that out it looks like autumn down there. It's not. It's July. It's the height of summer, technically. There it is. Guys, yeah, so we're in St Kevin, uh, which is, again, another pretty village. There's a bit of a theme going on. Um, and we're just walking up to a little sweet uh, restaurant called The Greenhouse. <laughs> this is the Fuggle. So we just had our starter, which was mackerel parfait and some sort of mackerel ceviche or something. I don't know, pickled mackerel or something. I can't remember. It was absolutely delicious. Um, it was so good. So we polished that off and had the homemade sourdough bread as well, which was so good. Alfred white cheese and chine souffle with parmesan crust. <laughs> this is my jerk marinated beef. I've got organic cavallo and nero wow. on the side. Wow. Come on. That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Montezuma chocolate nemesis. Okay. With clotted cream. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's quite misty. 
we've just had the most <laughs> amazing meal at the greenhouse. It was so good. One of the best meals I've had in a long time. In a long time. <laughs> so full. We definitely overordered. Like we ordered extra chips and potatoes, which I don't know why we did that. Oh, and that starter was huge, huge, but so good. Um, I actually have no regrets. I would definitely order all of that again, apart from the extra bowl of potatoes. So going for a little walk around St. Kevin. Uh, it's quite a sweet little square. We've been here a couple of times before. Um, now that I look at it, it's essentially like a car park. <laughs> <laughs> with a pub and a church, <laughs> but it feels like a really cute, quaint, it is quaint square. It is, it's lovely, it's a really nice evening actually. Um, so we've got the pub over there, and then the church spire, I think you call it, is over there, and the <laughs> car park is in the middle, which is still quite quaint as car parks go. Sorry, I'm dragging you into this. Okay. <laughs> we can always edit you out. Sure. We'll pixel it your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that sky. You can't see it on the camera very well. just stopped off at Gear Farm for some organic pasties and they're so good they're so good hey guys so the weather's a bit crap today so we thought we'd just take a sort of little road trip out and we've ended up at Traveskis Farm woohoo and actually I didn't realize that they had an organic Kind of kitchen garden but they do which is kind of cool so we're gonna go and check out the animals in a minute um, and check out the kitchen garden and then of course we're gonna check out the shop because you always gotta check out the shop Is one pretty big pig. That's huge. Look Isn't at that. It uh, no. Oh my god, yes. That's crazy. Right, let's go around and have a look at him. You want to go look at his balls? I've got to film this. just arrived at Trello Warren where we're having a nice little meal tonight at their New Yard restaurant. Um, well, you've got to see this turret. She went to a cousin's wedding there about two years ago. Well, not in that building, but the reception was around it. It was so cool. And there are some steps just down there. Let's go down the steps. Steady. <laughs> Such a pretty estate. And now it's time to eat. Woohoo! Um, they very sweetly are giving us a free meal tonight because I'm going to write about it on my blog. Um, but we do come here a lot. Sometimes we feel that we're possibly here a little bit too much, but they don't seem to mind. And you could honestly just hang here all day, which we have done a few times. So that's the courtyard again. Oops, sorry, darling. Didn't mean to get you in shot there. <laughs> We've just gone for a little table outside because it's such a nice evening. It's so nice. Mm. 
took a whole ice cube. <laughs> Okay, so I've gone for the pancid scallops, pui lentils, parma ham, lemon oil, and fennel as a starter. Steady hand. Mm, that's really good. Mmm. The parma ham goes really well with the scallops, and the lentils are so nice. Oh wow, so delicious. Do you want to try a bit? We've got a little friend who's joined us. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm sure there's more exciting things out in the woods for you to go and forage, but no, no. You want some pan seared scallops with parma ham, do you? <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. That looks so good. So that is a special cider cured sea trout. That looks so amazing. This is actually a special dish by the new chef that they've got here at the New Yard restaurant. So um, it's pretty exciting. So he's just started a couple of weeks ago and is bringing in all these really exciting, amazing dishes. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to try one. Um, so yeah, let's tuck in. I've lost my cutlery, there it is. Absolutely no. You need it's more authority in your noise. voice, I think. So this little dude is sulking a bit because we sort of gobbled up our entire mains. <laughs> it was so delicious. Oh, they just put on the fairy light. So pretty. It smells quite... so good. It smells so I really want to eat it. <gasps> that is the chocolate fondant with honeycomb ice cream. I'm actually salivating watching you. Mm, it's sort of gooey, it sort of sticks to your mouth in a really, really nice way. Oh, and the ice cream's really nice. But apparently they make the ice cream in-house as well, which is even better. And then you've got the blueberry bakewell tart with clotted cream and sugared almonds. Yeah, that's just, ooh, and relax, all is well with you. That's lovely, really nice. <laughs> it was so pretty a moment ago. So there you go guys, that was our meal at the New Yard restaurant in Trello Warren, which is a beautiful estate. I really like this place because they use a lot of local seasonal produce. I mean, you can really taste how amazing the ingredients are, it's so good. We sat outside because it was quite a sort of summery evening, even though it's a little chilly, but inside as well, it's just so nice and relaxing. We actually quite like coming here a lot in the sort of mid-morning for a coffee and a slice of cake. 